Hello guys, Miss Poland Camp here. Just another video about fractions. Um, now this time in fractions, we are going to talk a little bit more about the parts and the whole. Okay, we've talked about the parts and how we split them up, split the whole up into equal pieces. Now we're going to go a little bit further into that. Now this might be more of what you guys are used to with our morning work because I know we have gone over something like this before. So this will just be a very, very short video to kind of introduce this to us. All right, so the first thing says, write the fraction that names the shaded part. Okay, so let's look at the first one that they did together with us. So number five, what does that bottom number tell us? I wanna tell you right now, that bottom number is called the denominator. And how I remember that, let me uh, write that down, denominator. That is the bottom number, okay? And how I remember that, the denominator is the bottom number. It is down below the line, okay? So it's the one that's down. It's the number that's down. Down starts with D, just like denominator, okay? And then numerator, numerator, is the one that is above the line, okay? And I just remember that because it's not the denominator. There's really no way to remember that. If you think of one, let me know. <laughs> All right, so my top number is the numerator. My bottom number is the denominator. Now my bottom number, the denominator, tells me how many total pieces there are. So how many equal pieces there are, okay? Which is kind of what we did the last worksheet, right? There was three total pieces on this shape. One, two, three. There's three equal pieces. So that's where they got their three as the denominator, okay? Three total pieces. To find the numerator, you need to figure out how many are colored in or how many um, they're talking about. So there's one colored in, so that's where they got their one from. One out of three pieces are shaded because we need to write the fraction that names each shaded part. That's why that one, we look at the shaded part for that one or for that numerator, okay? Because they want us to write the fraction for the shaded part. One out of three total pieces are shaded, okay? So let's go ahead and look at number six. We're writing the fraction that names the shaded part. So my denominator, what is my denominator? It's my bottom number, which tells me how many total pieces there are, okay? So how many total pieces are there? How many equal pieces are there here? Well, we have one, two, three, four equal pieces. four total equal pieces. And how many are shaded? There's one shaded, right? So that's where our numerator um, tells us that it's one. One shaded out of four total pieces. So one fourth. And number seven tells us there are how many total pieces for our denominator? Two total pieces. And how many are colored in for our numerator? one. So that would be one half. Let's look at number eight. I want you guys to try to try these on your own. So what would my denominator be? My bottom number. Well, the bottom number tells me how many total pieces there are. So I'm going to count my total pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six total pieces. So I know that number needs to go on the bottom. And what would my numerator be? Well, I'm counting the number of shaded parts and there's one shaded part out of six total pieces. So one shaded part gives me my numerator. Okay, what about number nine? What would my denominator be? The bottom number. We gotta count our total pieces for the denominator. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total pieces. So that's my denominator, the one that's down. And what about my numerator? For your numerator, count the total number of shaded pieces, which is one. Go ahead and look at number 10. What is my denominator? 
denominator is that bottom number. So count your total pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six total pieces. And what would my numerator be? The number shaded in. So this time it's actually a little bit different. One, two, three, four, five pieces shaded out of six total pieces. So five sixths. All right, number 11. Color to show the fraction. Let's do these together. If I'm coloring one third, there's three total pieces, one, two, three, and I need to color one of them. There we go. Not too bad. Number 12, there's four total pieces, one, two, three, four. That's my bottom number, my denominator. And my numerator tells me how many I need to shade, so that would be just the one. Number 13, my denominator tells me the total amount of pieces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 total pieces. And I need to shade 5 of those total pieces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 5 out of 9 total pieces are shaded. 14. Last one, we have eight total pieces, which tells me my denominator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's three pieces shaded, which is my numerator. It tells me how many I need shaded. One, two, and three. There we go. All right, that is it for today. See, that video wasn't too bad. Go ahead and let me know if you have any questions on this. Uh, continue on with your slide presentation.